Elementor's new tabs widget is awesome. It's a massive upgrade from the previous version. You can now add in any content you want without using templates. Not only that, you get a lot more options when it comes to styling them. Let's take a quick look at what you can expect and why it's so exciting. First off, you need to go under Elementor, Settings, Experiments, and make sure you have both the Flexbox container and the nested elements set to active. Now, once you drag in your tabs widget, you'll instantly notice that you now have the option to add in widgets inside the tab. So you can actually place in containers and after that you just use containers like you normally would. This allows you to get pretty complex layouts going and you can add in buttons, videos, images, products, blog posts, really whatever you want. This opens up a lot of possibilities and replaces a lot of additional work you would need to do in the past to get these results. When it comes to styling, Elementor also made sure you're likely not going to need to use anything other than the actual widget. So if I go into my tabs and open one up, the first thing you're going to notice is that you can now add in icons, including custom icons. Each tab can have its own icon and not just that, you can actually choose a different icon for when the tab is active. This is an amazing upgrade. Over here you can choose where you want your tab tiles to be. On the top, on the bottom, on the right or on the left. You can also control their specific position so you have a lot of options to get the layout that you want with this. I'm just gonna leave them on the bottom and justified. Not only that, you can change these for different devices, so they can be on the bottom for desktop and on the top for tablet for example, which is amazing. Unfortunately for mobile you only get one option because you also get responsive settings where you can control whether your tabs transform into an accordion on just mobile or on mobile and tablet. There's currently no way to disable this completely in the tabs widget directly, so they always transform into an accordion on mobile. If we go under style and choose tabs, we get a lot of options we didn't have before. You can now choose the space between individual tab titles or buttons and how far away they are from the content. Even better, you can now choose the normal, the hover and the active colors of the backgrounds. You can add in a border radius and get rounded buttons. You needed CSS for this before. Under titles, it's the same thing. You can choose the colors of all three states. Previously, you could not control the hover state without CSS. Besides that, this stayed pretty much the same. When it comes to icons, you can control the icon's position, size, the spacing between the icon and the title, and again, the colors of the normal, hover and active states. Pretty standard stuff, but still, stuff we did not have before. Under content, I would honestly just leave this be, simply because the whole point of nested tabs is that we can use containers to control the content, and because of that, you can also control all of the styling directly in the containers. You can use this to control the background and the padding, but I would recommend you do that with the containers directly. When it comes to the tab's actual content, I'm not going to go too deep into that because that's a whole other tutorial. All you need to know is how to use Flexbox containers. If you look at the navigator, you'll notice the tabs actually behave like containers. So anything you add into the tab functions like a normal nested container. One thing I would suggest you keep in mind is that if the tab's content is not the same height, you'll get this jumping up and down effect. And if you don't have the main container set to the full height of the page, it's gonna make other content jump up and down. An easy fix is to go under your tab, go under layout and set the min height to a fixed value. And do that for all of them, the same value. That way nothing's gonna move because it's all the same height. And if you wanna get these cool fade-in effects, these are just motion effects, entrance animations added to specific containers or widgets and I think they really make everything a little bit more interesting and dynamic. For more interesting and dynamic content, check out this video next and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.